Hi viewers, this is Dr. Muhammad Iftikhar Aslam from Pakistan. Today I'm going to present a case of uh, equine herpes virus type 1 disease which had uh, occurred in a mare in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia which was in uh, two months of pregnancy. Equine herpes viruses are very common DNA viruses in horse populations worldwide. The two most significant are equine herpes virus type 1 which causes respiratory disease, abortion and neurologic disease and uh, the second one is equine herpes virus type 4 which primarily causes respiratory disease and only occasionally can cause abortion or neurological disease. These two types of viruses are also known as rhinopneumonitis. Upper respiratory tract infections can be caused by both equine herpes virus type 1 and equine virus, herpes virus type 4 with the latter more common. Clinical signs vary from subclinical to severe disease characterized by fever, lethargy, anorexia, nasal discharge and cough. Clinical respiratory herpes virus infections most commonly occur in young horses, usually weanlings and yearlings. Widespread uh, outbreaks can occur in stressful, overcrowded environments. The older horses are more important in uh, outbreak. They become subclinically infected with no clinical signs, but they shed virus. The incubation period for equine herpes virus is 2 to 10 days. The initial presenting signs include uh, fever, malaise, lethargy, inappetence, enlarged lymph nodes, pharyngitis, nasal discharge, and coughing. The outcome of this uh, respiratory disease can be controlled by minimization of the stress and uh, giving the mare a lot of rest. Exercising the horses frequently can develop prolonged hypersensitivity of uh, the lower, lower air airways, which may cause a subtle decrease in performance. Abortion in horses due to equine herpes virus type 1 usually occurs between 8 to 10 months of gestation and uh, occasionally as early as 4 to 5 months of gestation. Abortion can occur anywhere from 10 days to 12 weeks after the virus infection. But usually there are no warning signs of uh, abortion. Neurological form of this disease can be fatal and uh, is greatest cause of concern at boarding facilities race tracks and house shows. During outbreaks, up to 50% of horses with the fever go on to develop neurological signs. The signs may include incoordination and weakness, especially of uh, hind limbs, loss of tailbone, urine dribbling, and inability to rise. Signs of brain disease such as head tilt, are seen in few cases. Almost all horses have been infected with the uh, equine herpes virus type 1 by 2 years of age and have no serious clinical effects. Once a horse is infected, the virus can become latent or inactive in body, resulting in a carrier state with no external signs of disease. But when uh, the mare gets pregnant, the virus gets the active status and uh, uh, causes the clinical signs in mare. Equine herpes virus type 1 and 4 is spread via nose-to-nose -nose contact, contaminated equipment like water and feed buckets, 
tack and grooming supplies and shoes and the respiratory secretions within stalls or stables aborted fetuses and uh, after birth can also contain the virus the recommended method for direct detection of uh, equine herpes virus type 1 infection in the presence of uh, respiratory signs is pcr performed on nasopharyngeal swabs this procedure is the most sensitive method that can detect virus from shedding horses while in cbc you can uh, see the demonstration of uh, relative drop in uh, lymphocytes and neutrophils which are the parts of uh, white blood cells as this disease is caused by a virus there is no specific treatment and uh, there is no benefit of using uh, antibiotics so we will go for the spotted treatment or we can try using anti serum from recovered animals in spotted treatment we will use fluid therapy to provide energy to the body as the animal can't rise to get food due to incoordination of muscles ansids are required to treat fever while cyclovir also spelled as well well as cyclovir is an antiviral medication used to treat outbreaks of uh, herpes simplex or herpes zoster vitamin e is used to boost immunity they recommend uh, horses may benefit from uh, the use of uh, sling the horses that have uh, difficulty in urination may need to be catheterized several times daily vaccination against the respiratory form of this virus is clinically not enough to prevent the disease but it can control the spread and uh, minimize the clinical signs as we know that uh, the virus shedding continues for 28 days so we can uh, control this disease by quarantining the uh, infected animals for 28 days also we need to disinfect all the areas of uh, the barns and uh, transport vehicles where that uh, infected animal was standing and uh, taking the rect- rectal temperatures daily and uh, uh, isolating the infected animals from the healthy animals that's all with our today's lecture if you have any question you can use the comment box thank you so much